myself Gyas, Aptitude Trainer at SP Global Solutions Branch, Hyderabad. Today I am just explaining the important technique of simple analytics, the technique number 4. See what is the question? Question is find the time span during which a sum becomes 8 times to itself at a certain rate of simple interest. If it doubles itself in 5 years at the same rate of interest. In this type of question, the question is what is given? Given is that in first case, it doubles itself. This is double. Okay, it doubles itself in 5 years. That means suppose this is given n time of itself. So suppose this is n1 and this is your time that is t1. And question will find the time respect. We have to find time. Suppose this time is t2. To find the time to spend during which a sum becomes 8 times to itself. That is suppose this is n2. At a certain rate of t1 because the rate of interest in both cases same. So we have to find the time period difference. For this type of question, there is a simple technique. Technique is that suppose we have to find time. So t2 equal to what? In the first case, n1, second case, n2. So write second case n2 minus 1 upon n1 minus 1 into time period which is given first. So in this question, second is 8. So this is 8 minus 1 and first one is double, so this is 2 minus 1 into time period is given 5. So 8 minus 1 is 7 into 5 and this is 1. So your correct answer is what? 35 years is correct answer. So this is a technique. Any type of question can just we use this. See what is given and what required. First case n times. And second case n2 times. And the time was given then to apply the question. We can solve this question by a basic method also. You see how can we solve this question by the basic method. In the first case, it doubles itself in 5. So suppose principal P is 100. Then your amount is going to be double. That is 200. And time is given T equal to what? That is 5 years. So we have principal and we have amount. So we can find interest, simple interest easily. So simple interest I you know A minus P. So what is A? That is 200 minus 100. So this is 100. Now we have interest, time and this. So we can find here rate. So rate of simple interest is what? You know well 100 into simple interest upon P into time A. So this is 100 into interest is 100. Now what is P? P is also 100. Now what is T? T is 5. So this 100 is cancelled out and this is 5 to the 20. That is 20 percent is the rate of simple interest. Now in second case, the rate is same. So rate we use 20 percent and 8 times. So again you feel if your principal is 100. Then amount will be how much? 8 times. That is 800. So again interest. That is simple interest is A minus B. So this is 800 minus 100. That is 700. So principal is given. Interest is given. Rate 20% is given. So we have to find time period. So you know well that is the time period T equal to again 100 into. That is simple interest upon P into R. So here 100 into simple interest is what? 700. And P is what? 100. And rate is what? Same rate that is 20. So this 100 is cancelled out. This 0 cancelled out. And this is 35. So again your answer is 35%. That is the time. So we will write years. So 35 years is correct answer. So in the previous time we find in a second that is t2 equal to what? Simple trick 8 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 into 5 that is 35. But when we go this question by the basic then there is a lot of cases. In first case we have find r and then we have find the answer is same. So this is the very important technique if you 
want to know this technique with the help of this technique any question of this type you can solve in a second simple trick time second equal to n2 minus 1 divided n minus 1 into time period thank you